Lauren. So for today's video, I'm calling this attainable green beauty. And that's because calling this affordable is, it's just sort of hard because finance is a spectrum for people. So for some people, a $10 cleanser is affordable for some people it's twenty dollars and for some people it's thirty dollars and that's like the realm of affordable so i wanted this to be attainable so for some people these prices might seem like nothing and for some people these prices might seem like an exorbitant amount the purpose of this video is really just to be sort of a little bit of a a guide in a way um, for some brands and I'd love anybody's input down below on any sort of green-ish or green adjacent brands that sort of fall in an attainable pricing. Now why I'm saying attainable is because the green beauty spectrum is just can get so crazy expensive. I feel like the green beauty market is really, really saturated in very, very luxe brands. It's not uncommon to see a mask for $80 or a serum for $150 or a cleanser that costs $80. It just is crazy expensive. And when that almost feels like the bulk of green beauty, it can be really intimidating. So. You know, side note, I'm not like a fully green beauty person. It is the majority of the skincare that I use. I do use some non-green stuff and I do use some K-beauty stuff and things like that. So I'm not fully. And not all of the things I'm going to present to you are green beauty. I call them more like green beauty adjacent. So if that makes any sense, it does in my mind. But anyways, I'm just going to share a bunch of brands and some one-off products and like I said if you have any brands that I didn't mention or any particular products that I don't know about that you think are great and have tried please please put it down below I want this video to be a resource for people okay Whew, I have a habit of like talking a lot and not breathing so deep breath Lauren so I'm just gonna get on into it and what I'm gonna start with is Jordan Samuel skin now uh, this is a brand that I'm working on a full video for, so I won't go too in-depth about the products, but I think in general, uh, Jordan Samuel Skin offers products at pretty attainable pricing. The cleanser is $20, and this is a cleanser you can use as a first, second, morning cleanse. It's really good for all around. It's kind of a more of a, like a gel that turns into an oil, and it's full of really great ingredients. Also, there is the Hydrate Facial Serum. This is $29, and this is a really, really hydrating serum that's based in aloe and really, really good if you need some hydration in your life. Um, the Etoile, I took ballet, I should know how to say this, um, is a really, really great face oil that is just abundant in amazing different oils. It's got, I think it's 30 percent cranberry i have to double check the more detailed information about these products will be in that full review so that is 33 dollars so and it's a hearty oil i've been using this for several months and i use it almost every day if i'm not using this one i'm using the retinol and uh you only need a couple of drops and they're like hearty drops so this is going to last me a while and so then there's the uh etoile with retinol now this is definitely more expensive this one is 43 dollars in the scheme of retinol that's pretty affordable all right so from there this one also is sort of i can keep saying that about all of these brands but you know this one people's sort of terms of affordability i don't know but indie lee is a really great mid-range brand if you're wanting to get into green beauty um, all of these items are around $30. There's the rose hip cleanser, which last legs, um, the CoQ10 toner, last legs, and the brightening cleanser. Um, so this is really, I'd say, pretty good for more oily skin. I have drier skin, so I use this one more. I love the CoQ10 and then the squalene oil. Now, 
This is comparison to other places and expensive squalling oil because this is $30 and the ordinary has it for under 10. Now, I'm not including anything in the ordinary in here because this is like green, green adjacent. But if you want good, effective skincare, look into the ordinary and a million people have videos about the ordinary. So um, I'm currently using several of their products and I'll eventually do reviews on, but I'll leave that for everybody else. Um, another brand I wanna talk about is Evan Healy. Now, the only product I currently have is the green clay mask. Actually, that's not true. I have a few minis because she has these, like I think three or four different introductory kits. So they're like introductory to the lines. So I got one and it had a hydrosol, a mask, which was this one, but a small version, a moisturizer, um, an oil and a uh, cleansing milk. So five products. And I got it at Whole Foods for around 20, 20 some odd dollars, but I got it on sale. Now, that's the cool thing about shopping at Whole Foods. Yeah, I did a whole video about this a while ago, is that the products at Whole Foods do go on sale, which is really great. So um, I definitely look for that. And this is around $20. Um, maybe a little bit more, but I paid around $20 and this is the green tea and green clay mask. Now it is a dry mask. So this is pure powder and you mix it with your choice of water, apple cider vinegar, hydrosol to make your paste. So this is going to last you a very, very long time. So in the scheme of like having a mask, this is very reasonably priced. And just in terms of Evan Healy, which is a brand I don't hear about talked about that much. And I think that might be because I think actives um, like enzymes, you know, like chemical exfoliants, retinols and things like that are super in vogue. And Evan Healy's message is way more about nurturing your skin and not overdoing it with active ingredients and really being very tender with your skin. That's very much her message. And that hasn't really been the message lately with skincare, which um, <laughs> is like a whole nother like side conversation that I feel like the abundance on acids and just the abundance on actives these days is getting a little crazy. Um, and I, I, I fell into it. I was like, acid this, acid that, using glow tonic every single day and my skin was worse for it. So this is a whole nother conversation that a lot of people are having on Instagram right now that, you know, can have everybody's their own person. But anyways, I just see that actives are such in vogue and are getting so much attention. Um, but I think personally, I think nurturing your skin comes first. Um, but then to some people using acids and actives is nurturing. So anyways, skin is very personal. Um, but anyways, Evan Healy, deserves more time in the sun. So it's a really great brand. Um, I'm gonna talk about a couple of things from Leilani. Now, the, a lot of Leilani's products are definitely a, slightly more on the aspirational pricing, um, but I still think relatively fairly priced. Uh, but I think a good introduction to the brand and just I feel like, you know, excessively priced are actually her masks. The mermaid mask, I believe is 38 and the small of the honey love cleanser exfoliant mask is, um, I believe 28. So not cheap, <laughs> cheap, um, but not like, you know, not like buying honey mud or whatever, uh, or anything by Tata Harper and they're amazing masks. I will be repurchasing over and over again. Very affordable line that I think makes some stellar things is Acure. I really like Acure's Marula oil. I've used some of their Argons. This is a $14 Marula oil, which in the grand scheme of Marula oils is inexpensive. The Ordinary does have a really inexpensive Marula oil that I haven't tried, so I can't compare the consistencies. But what I do like about the Acure's Marula oil is that proceeds um, go to empowering women in South Africa. And I think that is really amazing. And then I am a huge fan of the brightening facial scrub. Now I use this on my face, mainly just along here occasionally, but I really, really love this all over the body. I think it's a great 
body um, exfoliant. Now, I think this is usually around $10, and when I go to Whole Foods, I pick it up when it's on sale, so I usually get it for about seven. So, a cure in general, I've tried their peony, uh, cleanser and I think a lot of people would get on with it. It's kind of like a silky creamy cleanser that builds up quite a slip and I just didn't care for uh, the scent of it. I don't really like peony scented things. I like the way peonies smell um, but I don't really like it when products are peony scented because it doesn't translate that well or that peony like. Just like when things are Sometimes rose scented, there's like what roses smell like, and then there's rose scented products, which there seems to be quite a dichotomy between um, real roses and rose scented things. So when that sort of bridge is smaller, <laughs> when rose scented things actually smell like roses, I'm like, yay! Okay, um, speaking of roses or really rose hip, Trilogy is not like a very excessively priced brand in a lot of instances, but I feel like their cleanser is relatively excessively priced, especially when you buy it like on Amazon or when you buy it at a place like Whole Foods. I get this when it goes on sale for about $19. This is a really nice rose hip cream cleanser. It's kind of gross and wet because it just came out of my shower. That's where I keep it, but this is a really like nurturing very hydrating cleanser that to me has felt and even smells very similar to the one from Pi um, that is very expensive so moving on from there derma e actually makes quite a lot of very affordable products I personally like the overnight peel I don't use this on my face because I can't really handle lots of acids on my face but because I do get really clogged skin on my back I like using this overnight on my back and it really helps and then 365 this is like I'll call this green adjacent because like the ingredients aren't really green but the gentle skin cleanser is about $4.99 $5.99 and this is a really nice sort of basic workhorse of a cleanser that does a decent job and doesn't kill my wallet and doesn't hurt my skin. 365 actually has quite a lot of offerings. 365, if you didn't know, is Whole Foods brand. Um, 365 also makes a really good body moisturizer that is around, I get the big tub for like $15. And because I get really dry skin all over my body, I moisturize pretty much daily. So it's not like, you know, it doesn't have like a beautiful scent or anything like that, but it's a no frills gets the job done moisturizer that I use all the time. So I rebuy it because it's a workhorse. Also, I wanted to talk about Jordan Master Skincare. This is an affordable with lots of uh, organic ingredients, vitamin C serum. This is actually my fourth time buying this. I used up two, I bought a third that I gave to my mom and now I went and repurchased it because I've missed having it in my life. Um, and this is around a $30 vitamin C serum, which for having a lot of organic ingredients seems pretty reasonable. A moisturizer that I think is amazing that they used to carry at Whole Foods, but I haven't seen in a while, but you can get online is the Shakai Facial Moisturizer that is rich in borage oil. I believe borage is the, yeah, the second ingredient and it's also got like a lot of other like avocado, jojoba. I've had some people comment about like being wary of the fact that this has like shea butter in it and avocado. You know, some people react to that, but to me this has just been a really great nutrient dense, uh, great moisturizer that performs like, like a dream. You know, this is around 14, 15, depending on where you get it, dollars moisturizer, and it, it packs a punch. It's more like a night cream. It's really, really nice. Um, along from there, um, I wanted to talk about Pharmacy. Now, Pharmacy, it's kind of more like a green adjacent brand, uh, and like I said, these are more in the 30s. I think this is 32, and this is 34. And the green screen, this is a really nice uh, sunscreen that is not only sun protection, but also the like phone and computer protection that people are coming out with. I know the newly formula, the reformulated Drunk Elephant one addresses that and then the Glossier Invisible Shield is all about that. So this has those things going on and this is actually rather moisturizing. It's definitely more of like a thick 
moisturizer cream formula that uh, I'll just use on top of oils. I don't need to put a moisturizer and then this on. That can be a little much. And then the Green Clean uh, Cleansing Balm, which is a very icy texture, really similar to the Hymish All Clean Balm, and it just does a killer job of destroying heavy makeup. And then um, Alba Botanics, the enzyme scrub. I've just liked a lot of things from this brand. This is the only thing besides the sunscreen, which I can't find right now, that I have that I own. Oh, actually, no, I have their uh, Hawaiian body oil. That's why my bad. But they actually make quite a lot of decent uh, products that aren't crazy expensive. Same with, I think it's Andoli or Andola Botanics. You can buy them at Whole Foods. I think, like... When it comes to green beauty, it seems like the eco luxe brands get the most tension. I know that Indie Lee, Pharmacy, um, and Jordan Samuel Skin get quite a lot of tension, and you know even Leilani to an extent, they get quite a lot of attention in the sphere. But some of these more like affordable brands uh, don't get talked about that much. So I wanted to talk <laughs> about them, and maybe this. I don't know, helps you in some way. I just thought it would be a decent video that's been swimming around in my head because like I said, the, 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 the just the skincare uh, community in general seems to be very focused on um, either really, really inexpensive things like The Ordinary right now or really crazy expensive things like Sunday Riley um, or May Lindstrom and things like that. And you know, we can't all afford that, but we all, you know, I assume since you're watching this video, want nice things. You want nice skincare. And to me, um, these have performed well to great for me and thought I would suggest them to you, person out there watching this video. All right, um, I'm sure I could throw in a million more things on there, but I wanted to keep everything, you know, definitely lower. I tried not to put anything over $40 in here. Might have one or two slipped in there, like the retinol, but for the most part, I tried to keep everything below that. So yeah, hopefully this video was helpful for you. Um, and if you liked it, please give it a thumbs up and uh, subscribe and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.